they're in Africa. They're they're lending money to countries to build ports and different to, infrastructure. To build what? Port. And harbors. what's wrong with that? And well, because countries that need ports <laughs> get ports. But they're making people dependent on. I mean, I know it's the same thing that we've done, which is no, it's not. All around the world, they are they are far more humanistic than the United States ever was. <laughs> really. Welcome to Candid Africa, truthful and unapologetic. I've been very concerned lately about China. They are now all over Africa, you know, buying things and investing over there and getting those countries dependent on them and supporting, you know, non-democratic people. And I'm just like whom? Well, we come. We are in a country that supports Saudi Arabia. Yes, that's yeah? true. Right. So, so suddenly we have a problem with, uh, you know, superpowers supporting non-democratic people? <laughs> yes. I mean, yes, I do. You know, they're, they're in Africa. They're, they're lending money to countries to build ports and different infrastructure. To, to build what? Port And harbors. what's wrong with that? And, well, because... Countries that need ports get ports. But they're making people dependent on. I mean, I know it's the same thing that we've done, which is no, it's not. All around the world, they are but. they are far more humanistic than the United States ever was. <laughs> really? Okay. Absolutely. Great. So let me give give you an okay. example. Of course, they are trying. They are peddling for in, for for influence. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but they are non-interventionist. Absolutely non-interventionist in a way that Europeans, the West, has never managed to fathom. When it comes to the influence of China outside its borders. I have to say, firstly, it's quite remarkable that they don't seem to have any military um, ambitions. Secondly, Africa. I'll give you an example, a specific example, Ethiopia. 2004, because it ha I happened to be there and I, I have some uh, first person, first hand experience of it. They went into Ethiopia, I'll tell you why they went into Ethiopia, because they suspected it was oil. Mm -hmm. Because China is a major industrial power, but it lacks primary resources. Now, instead of going into Africa with troops, colonially, destroying the country, killing people like the West has done for the last hundred years, what they did was, they went to Addis Ababa, and they said to the government, we would like, and we can see you have problem, problems with your infrastructure, we would like to build some new airports, um, upgrade your railway system, create a telephone system, and rebuild your roads. And we'll do this all for, all for free. No strings attached. We don't want anything from you. And they did. Why did they do it? Because it's soft power. Because they, now, it, because they knew that if oil is uh, uh, discovered, and it was discovered later, then, of course, the Ethiopian government will be much more open to Chinese oil companies coming there. They have never combined their investment with imperialistic... Can you imagine if that was a German company or an American company? <laughs> That's why I'm saying I don't think you should worry. Okay. 